Assalamu alaikum everyone. I welcome you all to my channel. Today, the car that I have for you is in one of the best dealerships in Bangladesh to buy a car from. None other less Avi Trading. And this is the 2023 Porsche Macan. And today, I'm going to convince you and my uncles that why you should buy the Porsche Macan. So let's start the full in-depth review a little bit about what Porsche is. Porsche. A lot of people know the name Porsche but doesn't know about the company's background. So Porsche is a German manufacturer that is owned by Volkswagen Group. But before when it was individual, it's been 92 years, this company is building cars and it started all at 1931. Porsche first started making race cars because they were into racing and all those. But after that, they slowly came to the production line of street legal cars. And obviously it was none other than the Porsche 911s. So first they introduced all the 911s, the two-door sports cars and the two-door convertibles. After the 911s, they finally released something that is the cash cow of Porsche and the money maker, the Porsche Cayenne. And then after the Cayenne, they released the Panamera, then the 718. And in 2014, Porsche released the small mid-size SUV that is from Porsche. Not mid-size, it is compared to a small SUV to a mid-size, it's at the center. And this is the Porsche Macan, the release of the year 2014. After 2014, this car didn't get that much popularity in Bangladesh or any other country because it was too small, but it had a big engine. But this is the facelifted version and Porsche has fixed everything. It has good tech, good design, good engines and performance engines as well. So let me show you why you should buy this car. First of all, by showing you some of the features the key has. So all the Porsche vehicle gets this nice key that actually looks like a 911. You have your Porsche logo, you have your unlock, lock and your trunk opening. And overall, it is a very nice key. But before you used to start the car with this on the pre, pre facelift, but on the new facelift, you have something else inside. So now I'm going to get inside the car, turn on these full LED lights that are actually optional extra. Everything you got to pay for it, buddy. Foot on the brake, pressing the start button, not pressing it. I mean, twisting it. This is with the full light on. This is with the hazard. This is with the high beam. This is without the high beam. Now I'm going to come outside for showing you guys the car's headlights. So, all of Porsche's headlights are identical. You know why? Because it's all this shape and you have four dots. One, two, three, four. This is called the Porsche dynamic light system. In all Porsche cars, you have these four lights. Panamera, Cayenne, 718, 911, all of them. You name it, you have it. But these are actually the optional extra full LED headlights that is here. And overall, you can see the headlight is black housing and you have Porsche written very nicely on the side. Then if we come down from there, you have all the interior details and then you have your daytime running lights that when the hazards are on, this is actually your hazards. But overall, the front of this car is a very good looking car in my opinion. So if we come to the bottom portion, the normal Macan doesn't look as good as this because this has the sports exterior package. So it includes a little down splitter with two parking sensors here and two on either side. So the four sensors total at the front. This is open, this is open, this is open sometimes and closed sometimes because the vent inside opens and closes. You have the front camera here and you have the overall front design good. You have your towing hooks placed right here and the daytime running lights are very visible. Now let's come to the Porsche logo. The Porsche logo is at the center and a lot of people can see horse. So what is a horse, a Ferrari or a Porsche? Let's talk about that in the next video. So you have very nice lines on the hood that make the car look much more aggressive and much more fun to drive by looking at the car. And trust me, Porsche is the best manufacturer that makes cars that are for handling and grand tourers, like the iconic 911s. Rain sensing wipers and overall, this paint is really good, it's called chalk and it is overall a very nice pink. Now let's see what is powering the Macan and is it practical and fuel economy, is it good or bad? 
So now let's talk about the car's engine, but we got to open the hood first. For opening the hood, there's a handle at the driver's side. You just pull that and it actually fully opens. So there, so I do it. Pull it once, it opens. And on the Macan, the headlight shells are actually inside the hood. So after you open it, you just slide this to the left and there that opens. So you can see how big the hood is on the Macan. This is a good design language because these are big openings for the headlights and it is much easier to repair headlights. You just have to open the hood, take out the headlights, put the new headlights in. Now let's come closer. This car, the Porsche Macan, gets a lot of different engines. The most powerful engine and the most biggest engine is in the GTS, the four liter V8 on this car that is on the GTS variant. On the turbo, you have on the Macan T, that's full forms turbo, you have the same engine but more power. On the S, you have more power as well, but this is the standard Macan. So you have the standard engine with the least, least amount of power, but none the best. This car has a two liter four cylinder engine with a single turbo that is mounted at the front. So this is the engine. You have overall very nice engine cover. You have four signs for four cylinders. You have Porsche written on this side, as you can see. And then for pouring engine oil, you have to do it from here. You can see these parts are open, so hot, the hot air can come outside the hood and exit the car. You have this big intake here that feeds all the air that's coming from the hood and then getting it inside here and getting it there. So the cooling can be maximally the best and the best. And because it's Porsche, handling is their first thing. So you have this bar for the weight distribution and you can see the huge turbo that is behind the engine. That's why you have all the aluminum foiling and aluminum for not burning anything because aluminum can be burned with heat. You have insulation on the top and the overall car and everything, I really like it, not gonna lie. Now let's talk about the power outputs but before that with this engine is a 7-speed PDK transmission with 4-wheel drive. So it's producing 261 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. Pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. Now let's close the hood. So let's get the hood closer and just put it inside. You can see the headlight shells cover it. And there we go, the hood closes. Now I'm going to go for the side profile and show you guys, is this car big or small? Like what you guys think? Now let me show you the car's side profile. This car is really good for Bangladesh, you know why? The Cayenne is more bigger than this. This is the Macan, a little smaller. Bangladesh, you have a lot of traffic, and especially in Dhaka city, there's a lot of traffic. So this is a smaller car. You can go easily out the traffic that's better for you. Now let's look at the wheel of this car. So with the normal Macan, you get normal wheels, but these are optional extra, bigger wheels and nicer wheels. So these wheels are 295 40R21s. You have six pistons, steel brakes at the front and the thickness of the front disc are 13.6 inches with double open suspension with coil springs. Yeah, suspension is there, but that's optional extra. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for the wheels. Now if we come up, you have the exterior mirror. So this is the light for the hazard. You have a camera right here and the mirror is not placed here. It is actually on the door because of aerodynamics. And you can see there's opening here. So all the air can come in and come out. Then you have your satin black trims on the window trims that actually make the car look much nicer with this car. Privacy gloss is optional extra and it, it is overpriced so no one actually gets it. But overall the doors on Porsche, I'm going to show you why. In a normal car you put the door anywhere it's going to automatically close but there's a mechanic system. So if you open the door here it's going to stay. If you keep the door here it's going to stay. But on a normal Toyota car or a Mercedes or BMW the door keeps waggling. So that's good from Porsche. If you come down, you have this nice trimming on the side so it doesn't look boring and the ground clearance is really important for SUVs. And I think this car actually has pretty good ground clearance. If you get up from there, you can see the overall side design is very aerodynamic, very nice. Now let's come to the rear wheels. Same tires, 295, 35 R18s. You have smaller brakes, but the rear thickness is 12 inches. That's not bad compared to the front brakes. Multilink suspension with coil springs. And now I'm going to go on the other side and show you guys the car's fuel tank. So for opening the fuel tank, if the car is unlocked, if you just press this, and there the fuel tank opens, and it has Porsche written on top of the fuel tank cover, and when you open the cover, it has a little slot for keeping it. And the fuel smells actually pretty nice, and it is actually in green. So there we close it now, and there it locks itself, and you can see it's Porsche written. And the fuel tank capacity of this car is 75 liters. That is pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. 
And that's going to be pretty much it for the side profile. Now I'm going to show you the car's rear. So now I'm going to show you the car's rear. And from the rear, the Macan actually looks much better than it is from the front. So now I'm going to get inside, turn on the rear tail lights and show you guys the whole thing. So here I get inside. Put on the brake, pressing the start button, the car turns on. This is with the full light, with the rear fog. This is with the hazard, this is with the reverse. And there you go. Now I'm going to put it back to park and come outside. For showing you guys the rear tail lights. So the tail lights are wrap around. So it start all the way over here and it actually has a hazard that's on. And then you have the rear tail light that all the way start from this side that all the way goes till here. You have Porsche written and Macan written right there and all the way continues to the other side that the previous generation pre facelift didn't. But on the facelift you have this brand new rear tail lights. And then on the top you have the up spoiler that's actually in black and you have your upper stop brake light rear windshield is heated and you have your rear windshield wiper now let's go down this car has the exterior sports package that's why you have all of this and it has the stainless steel exhaust that's in chrome black so you have quad tips on either side rear fog lights and hazard lights are up there but rear fog lights and reverse lights are in the down portion four sensors at the back you have the number plate slot you have the reversing camera and the reversing camera actually has a washer to watch the reversing camera. Now if we go up, that's gonna be pretty much it for the rear, but it is overall a very nice looking car. Now let's see, is it practical for our Bangladeshi shoppings and other things? So for opening the boot, you can do it from the key, you can do it from inside, and there's a button placed right here for opening the boot below the windshield wiper. So if you press this, and the power tailgate is going to automatically open. So the Macan, a lot of people can think it's not, it's not gonna have storage, it's small. No, the Macan actually has 485 liters of storage. That is pretty good for our Bangladeshi boot space thingy. So in the underfloor storage, you have, guess what? More storage and it is all the way placed down there. And then you have hooks on either side. You have four totals for holding stuff. And then you have netage area inside here too and lights on either side. And you have a 12 volt socket here. If you want to carry your refrigerator when you're picnicking or something else, you have it here. This is a partial cover. And overall, you have the emergency triangle and everything that's inside here. So if you open this, there's your emergency triangle. And it actually says Audi instead of Porsche, because it's the same group. Like, come on, Porsche. You have reflectors. These are actually for the back, and these actually illuminate on the bottom for the boot. And you have two buttons, one is for closing the boot and one is for closing the boot and locking the car. If you need more storage, you can fold down the seat, 60-40 distribution. So this is for the 60, I mean the 40, sorry. And if you want to do the 60, you have to do it from the other side. There we go. And this is the maximum storage you can get that is more than 1,320 liters. Not bad, isn't it, right? Now let's close the boot because we're done. You have a scratch plate that is placed down here. And for closing the boot, you can just press this button and it's going to powerly close. And one more thing I wanna say right now, or I'm gonna forget it afterwards. Let me know what should I do reviews in, Bangla or English? Cause a lot of people in my main channel tell me about reviewing Bangla cars. I mean, reviewing in Bangla. But a lot of people in the main channel want me to review in English. So I made another YouTube channel that is in Bangla. So I'm going to do a same review of a Macan, but that's the previous facelifted and that is much more powerful. But on this car, I'm doing it in full English in my English channel. So make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're new, hit the bell icon so you get all of the notifications when I upload a video. Now let's get inside the new Macan. So now let's get the seat up. So this is the 40 and the interior color of this car actually matches the exterior of the color because it's all sporty. And this is the 60. There we are in. So near room, headroom, not bad concerning it's a small SUV. But overall, the seats are very comfortable. You have Isovix anchor points too on the seats for installing a baby seat. And on the headdress, you have Porsche embossed right there. 
And then on the center seat, you have a armrest with two cup holders. And it's overall a very comfortable car and not bad looking from the inside as well. You have two rear AC vents at the back and this is for the temp. So you can choose that from here. And this is for closing the vent and opening it. You have two USB-C types for charging on mobile devices. And you have the panoramic sunroof that you can enjoy as well. And does the window go fully down? It's actually locked from the front. So let's come to this side. And whoever sits on the middle is not going to be that bad. It's actually not bad sitting on the center. You just feel too cold. If you know, you know. Now let's come to the door. Chrome treatments here. You have these plasticky treatments here. This is your door handle. That's in aluminum. You have your Twitter here. That's in straight. And you have your speaker here. That's right here. You have a bottle holder, grab handle with red leather and red stitching. And this is for your window opener. And now here I come outside. And it actually doesn't cover the whole door. But have a reflector that's right here and the door actually fully covers so it doesn't get dirty or any muddy if you off-road this car that you actually can do now let's get inside the front so now we are on the front seats and this is where the business actually is let's show you the dash first full flash dash you have your SRS airbag here this is for a vent for defogging the windows and this is actually a Twitter this is your AC vent, this is for AC vent closer and opener. Chrome trim here, normal trim. Lockable glove box that is illuminated with a lot of storage. And then let's come to the seats. These are not the standard seats, these are optional extra seats and these are more way adjustable. You have Porsche embossed here and it is actually very, comfort or very comfy to sit, sit in them and it's seated. And it actually has under thigh support too. So if I want to extend this, so if you're tall, you don't have to uncomfortably sit inside and there you can see that and for closing it you can do it from inside as well the car has a big panoramic sunroof and the front portion actually opens up for that I have to push this and there the front portion opens and there you can see it actually opens a lot and it's very nice that the full sunroof opens because a lot of manufacturer don't even have it and there it's a one touch so it's going to close by itself and for closing the cover you have another button right here so after the sunroof closes you can close the cover and it's one touched as well and there while that's closing let's show you this part so you have a storage area here with a wireless charger and two USB-C types for charging your mobile devices you have two cup holders Macon written here you have a small sunglass holder that I'm going to keep my Armani's in there you have some buttons here that I'm going to show you later. This is for your parking brake off and on, and this is your gear knob. So you just have to put it back for a reverse, and the reversing camera turns up. And you have adaptive guidelines. This is for neutral. This is for drive. And that's it. And for manual shifting, you just use the pedals, because you don't have to do that anymore. So now I'm going to show you the car's infotainment system. But before that, let me show you one more thing. This car has sports chrono package, so it has this clock stopwatch and your timer at the center now let me show you the car's infotainment system foot on the brake twisting the knob and there the car turns on so let me show you the infotainment first so now the Macan the Cayenne the Panamera all are getting the same tech so this is the new infotainment system this is a 10.2 inch and it is very helpful you have navigation that actually doesn't work from the set but you can see earth there and then you can search on favorites here. This is for media. You can connect your Bluetooth or FM, AM uh, online. And then you have phone for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This is for car. So you can look at the car's park assist. So this is for the front camera and 360. This is for the rear camera and 360. This is for the sides. This is for the panoramic view for the front and the back and the top. So this is more helpful than it ever was for you and for us. That's one more reason why you should buy this car. Then you have vehicle settings. You can configure it everything from here. And then you have display settings, system, and driver's manual. Then you have your trip information here. And you have your chrono that you can load a lap. So if you press this, you can see the chrono is going to slowly go to one. And then you have your apps and your normal stuff, sound, device, and set. Infotainment system, very helpful, very nice. You have shortcut buttons for your scroller and for your volume that's here 
This is for the AC vents for both sides. You have your climate control for the passenger side here. So this is for the temperature. This is for the wind speed. This is for AC max, sink, and rear windshield, front windshield heater. This is for where you want the air. This is for heated seats and auto rest. This is for the suspension. So if you want to stiffen up the suspension because it's adaptive, you can just press this button. That's one. This is two. So now the suspension is fully stiffer. And this is for just normal. Then you have your traction control, your parking brake, auto start stop, your cruise control, your hill descent control, off-road off mode, and everything that's for my side. And like I showed you everything here, now let's go up. You have two vanity mirrors on either side and both of them have lights inside so you can just quickly do what you gotta do inside that. And then you have everything here. So this is for opening the blind, so I'm just quickly opening the blind, you don't have to see that. There, that opens. It's one touched while closing, but while opening, you gotta hold it. And then you have your parking sensors off. This is for the lights, for turning on and turning off. This is for the rear lights, this is for the both side lights, and this is for the whole panel to turn on. And that's actually very nice overall. This is your rear view mirror that's auto dimmed. And overall, it's pretty nice. Now let's see the steering wheel. The steering wheel is fully leather strapped, but it's manually adjustable. So lightweight, so this is one more reason to buy this car. It's lightweight, so less fuel. And there we close that. It has this drive mode selectors for the uncle, so your son can put it on sports mode or sports plus mode and drive it around Gulshan. And you have this button that is sports response mode. So for 20 seconds, the turbo is going to be the maximum power that it can produce. And then you have some buttons here for the digital meter. And you have your cruise control here. You have your windshield wiper controls and you have your hazards and high beam that I'm going to show you a little later though. Now let's see the car's dials. Foot on the brake and there the car turns on. So this is your speedo. The top speed of this car is 175 miles and this is the car's mileage that it has. And it's not pretty much it because it's a brand new car. Everything's wrapped and stuff. This is your instrument cluster and overall the rpms at the center red lines in 7000 rpm and this is for the cars mile per hour and digital and it actually says which gear you're in so park reverse neutral and drive and if you press the pedals it can just go to manual from there and if you hold both of the pedals and uh, while in new uh, while in drive you can actually rev the car from there because it actually has a soft limiter and then you have the digital meter where you have your seatbelt monitors and then you have your auto start stop off and on. You have your fuel gauge and the amount of fuel it has it can go 253 miles. This is your vehicle information like your engine temperature, engine oil temperature and battery voltage. If you go once down you have audio, then you have phone, then you have navigation, then you have navigation last destination so for all your selections. This is your trip information, this is your tire pressure monitor, this is your all wheel drive system, and this is your chrono. So I'm going to keep it here. And for the drive modes, you have individual, normal, sport, and sport plus. And you have sports response mode for 20 seconds that you can see right there. Overall, it's pretty nice, I'm not going to lie. Now I'm going to show you the buttons on the side. So this is for your high beam and your hazard. This is for your windshield wiper washers. And this is for your cruise control. And that's pretty much it. You have aluminum paddles behind the steering wheel. Now I'm going to show you the car's door. So let's turn off the car. And then you have the vent for defogging the windows. This is for your AC vent. This is the starting thingy. So you have to just rotate this to start the car. And then you have to put on the brake and then it turns on. Then this is for your headlight controls and for your rear fogs and off. We'll keep it on auto. And then if you go down, you have your dead pedal, brake pedal, and this is for your gas pedal. And then this is for opening the hood. And then let's come to the sides. So you can see how many way this seats are adjustable. And you can see the front portion actually pops up if you're tall, so you don't have to worry about that. And this is for getting it back. And then you have Macan written there. And now let's come to the door. So you have these soft touch materials which are chrome. And this is for your door handle, lock and unlock. You have two memory seats for only the driver's side and the memories. And the memory seats on the passenger side are actually three-way adjustable. This is for your exterior mirrors, window openers, window lockers, and boot opener. Grab handle with this red leather and red stitching. Bottle holders and your big speaker. You can get bows and bang and a but those are optional extra. 
And this is going to be pretty much it for the review. So that's going to be pretty much it for the review. So the review is done. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button and let me know in the comment section what you want to see next. And I'm going to reply to all of them if I have time. So now let's talk about the price that you guys are waiting for. And the price of this car asking 3 crore 35 lakhs. And if you want this car, you can come to Avi Trading. And this is the first unit and the only unit until today in Avi Trading showroom. Because in Bangladesh, you can't say only one because the next day, the same car comes again. And you guys ask me that how many variants are there in Bangladesh. So, review done, car done, everything. If you are free, go to my Facebook page. Do hit the like button there. Do hit the like button on my this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And hit the bell icon if you didn't yet. If you want to follow my social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, everything should be in the description. And do make sure you hit the follow button on the best European car dealer of Bangladesh, Avi Trading. Until then, I will see you next time. Peace.